Hey everybody, it's Tawny here and it has taken me a while to come out with these reviews because along with learning a lot about bondage rope, I was also learning how to do shibari, which we will have a whole line of beginners kind of how to's coming out very soon, courtesy of uh, Betty's Toy Box and the wonderful, wonderful bondage gear that they've got uh, now also over at Naughty Betty's. So allow me to tell you about uh, the rope most of you have been requesting a review about. So you've been asking a lot about hemp rope. Now the one that I've got here, so this is Kink by Doc Johnson, it is uh, 30 feet and this is a little bit less than a quarter inch in thickness, 6 mm, this is 100% hemp. Uh, they partnered with Kink to really get something that was great for rigging, uh, that was firm but still easy to untie, uh, sticky enough without tugging against the skin. So one of the things that I first liked about this rope, um, before I go into kind of my own uh, experience using it, I love that it's got that almost outside rope sort of look. Because for me, when I'm doing bondage, a lot of times I'm role playing. I, in my head, it's the idea that when I'm tied up, it's something that was found laying around outside. You know, it's great. But as we all know, or those of us who have ever grabbed rope from outside, it can be very coarse and frayed and incredibly uncomfortable against your skin. You do not come across that issue with the hemp rope. This slides really nicely nicely against the skin. It looks great, especially when layered for rigging or shibari. Um, and another thing it uh, has, let me grab one of the ends here, reinforced ends. So you're not going to have to deal with the fraying up or having these go uh, get a little bit ruined and stuff. But on top of that, it's also thin enough that if you have your own safety scissors, which you should always have during rigging, you are very easily able to cut through this to free the person you are tying up. Um, now, of course, again, like I mentioned before, this can provide, I'm going to show you a little example. I'm just gonna do a basic, like a knot, right? Something you might not use. So as you can see, you can tie it very, very tightly, but still with these threaded cords around it, you're able to untie it. So even though that around my wrist, I'd be able to tug and it would be firm, you're still able to take these out. It's not gonna get all knotted up in itself and you're gonna have to throw it away afterwards. So rope play, is something that I was new to in practice, um, but I had been reading about it a lot. I'd seen a lot of uh, live riggings and, and um, I've seen a lot of shibari presentations, and it was something that had always interested me because I love the idea of being restrained. Uh, that's something that absolutely turns me on. But rope in my head, I was like, this requires like a rope master. Like this requires someone who is, you know, very well versed in ropes and tying. And um, although I had an ex who was, I never really embarked on that with them. So I never had a chance to kind of tap into that and learn more about this rope. Uh, so. Upon learning, I realized that uh, some aspects of it, some beginner shibari, can be quite easy for couples to learn, very arousing, and it creates both an, like, an aesthetic on your body uh, as well as a way to kind of balance power, uh, balance pressure. Uh, there are a lot of safety precautions that I will go into when we do that series, um, but first and foremost, I really just wanted to show you the hemp rope. Um, reasons... Ooh, it kind of jumped on me. Hopefully you can still see me. <laughs> kind of did a jump. So uh, there's a lot of different reasons why people would prefer hemp over perhaps cotton. Um, but something that I also noticed is it's very easy to clean. So if you're using anything like lubrication during play, um, because of the little anti-fraying ends, it's very easy to kind of wipe this off and you're not going to have the issue of it starting to break apart and fall apart. Although I will say like there's no need to throw this in a washing machine if you can hand wash it yourself. I'll have some information about cleaning your ropes and bondage gear uh, coming in an upcoming video. But overall, I found this to be incredible 
incredibly comfortable. I found it to be snug, but it didn't yank on me. It didn't tighten as I moved around and make me feel even more restrained. It kept that kind of that space that I gave it when I was tying or when Kyle was tying. Uh, it also provided like a very easy rope to work with. It doesn't get tangled up in itself very often. Uh, so you're really able to learn with this rope. So if you're looking to kind of introduce it into the bedroom, introduce this sort of play on yourself with a partner, uh, definitely check out this awesome hemp rope. Thank you so much, Kink. Thank you so much, Doc Johnson. Ah, in case you want a visual sometimes of how it'll be set up on there. I've got the link down below so you can take a look at it. I would love to know about your journey. Uh, be sure to subscribe because those uh, how-tos are going to be coming up here soon and I can't wait to share them with you. Thank you all so much and uh, I will be certainly talking to you all very soon.